Welcome back to some more Need for Speed Payback. You may remember this glitch as if you've been around for a while. It was a thing in 2015, removing things from the car, basically. We're standing with the hood. The only thing that's been removed on this car is the hood. And honestly, it looks insane. The detail in here is awesome and I'm really, really liking it. Even the carbon fiber looks pretty damn cool. That texture is a pretty damn decent texture. ID plates are even readable on this. I mean, some of them. Some of them, not so much. But the fact that we went to this much detail and they're not seeable for the most part, except in damage, it's disappointing, really. Until now, we can now show this stuff off and it makes me hope in the future that maybe we're gonna get some clear hoods because this looks insane. You can drive around using this hood, no problem whatsoever. Anything removed you can drive around with. And I'm gonna tell you how to do that today. We're gonna have a look at some of the cars that you can actually do this to which is pretty much everything. This works across platform, any car, any system. Uh, the only thing is you have to be pretty quick. So some things might be pretty impossible at this point, but hopefully we find a way to remove some of the things in the future. There are ways, it just, it depends, you'll see. This video exists thanks to this tweet right here. The guy was like, yo pants, I've got something for you. I wanna show you. And thanks to him, we've got this video tutorial for you today. Anyway, so you can just genuinely put the hood back on if you really want to, or you can take it off which is the better option. Let's all figure out which car you want to remove the hood on. We'll start off with the hood. I want to remove the hood from my Chevy Camaro SS. I think this thing is beautiful, and I want to see how much more beautiful it is with the engine being shown. Now that you know exactly what car you want to go for, get ready to switch to it. I'm hovering over the warehouse option, and two clicks to the left is the visual customization option. Remember this. Very, very quickly, press the swap with the warehouse option, jump over to the visual customization and smash X very, very quickly to get into the menu while the screen is black. All right, here we go, three, two, one, boom. I'm on the hood. You saw the hood text pop up there. That means you're doing it well. I mean, you can do it without that popping up. I did it a second ago, but jump onto the card that you want the visual customization to be removed on, click on it, click on the option on the hood. In this case, it's just been removed. So I select any of these, you can see it's called the Nissan hood. And that's because it just basically thinks it's the Nissan still and that's why it's removing the hood. And there you go, a nice look at that Meaty V8. Again, this can be done to many customization options. You just gotta be damn quick about it. What I mean by quick about it is the option you select when the screen goes black. So when you click on this and jump over to the visual customization, hood is the first one selected. And that's why hood can be removed. If you wanna remove the front bumper, for example, when you click on visual customization, you also need to press down twice to get down to the front bumper. Now, some cars actually have like a full body kit, as you know, that applies. And that'll allow you to remove a lots and lots of parts. And then you can reapply parts as you want. So let's give that a go. I don't know what cars I have to do a full body kit. I think actually this kit might do it. It might not remove everything, but it'll remove quite a bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. Do the quicker route. Go down. Oh, I missed. I think I went one further down the front bumper. We might be on split. We might be removing splitting. It's not exactly what I normally like to do. All right, front bumper removed. Easy as pie. Now I don't want to remove the front bumper of my beautiful M3. Uh, so what I, I need to do again, is you need to do it with a certain car. Oh, here we go, there we go. So a full, that full kit on the GTR changes so many panels on the car, it actually removes a lot of it. And if you really wanted to do that, you can select that kit and then individually put everything back on that you want to be on. So that's a cool way to do it. But look at that, where's my car gone? It's a good question. Right, let's get ready to remove the hood of another car. Jump on to swap warehouse. Boom, I'm on hood. Uh, what car hood do I want to remove? Let's go on the Audi. Let's see what we can do. We're down, look at that. And of course the Audi doesn't actually have the engine at the front. So it actually just shows the, the little glove compartment base, the, the trunk, you know what I mean. But the engine is still intact. So if you really wanted to do that for some reason, Merry Christmas. I did build this to hopefully have some kind of bash bars on it, but unfortunately Need for Speed doesn't have that. So I have removed the hood from this car right here. As you can see, very, very nice. But what we're gonna do is remove a lot of parts from this car. And then I'm gonna show you the whole demonstration of building it back up again. So if we swam our skyline, go over and down onto front bumper, that's what we need. And let's jump into the Dodge Challenger again. And we should be on front bumper, which means click on the front bumper, absolutely decimates it. Equip that item, boom. You can also remove the front lights just as easily. It's just a matter of when that screen goes black, you need to go to the item that you want to remove. So it starts on hood. If you went to the side, it's gonna do headlights. If you go down, it goes front bumper. If you're quick enough, you could remove the splitter as well. 
Or again, if you want to put it back on, you can do so very easily. Oh my god, you can actually customize the splitter without the, <laughs> the front being on. Actually, I made a mistake. If I go over to this kit, then that removes a lot of damn panels. Oh, I actually put some back. Did it put all of them back? I think it actually just put all of them back. Remove those parts. Now, they all pop back. Okay, so that one doesn't work. On some cars, I've seen it does work. But, uh, I guess not on that. Let's try removing the hood of my X6. I want to try some of the things that we wouldn't normally try. Go on the hood. Oh, yes! Now, that is cool. This is one of the newer cars as well, but you can see the detail in this one is crazy, too. They've really got- they've- I'm like, come on. You don't need to- there's nothing- nothing we can see. And let's try again with the Raptor. Oh! Hello! That is meaty. Look at the size of that. Jesus Christ! I could play around with this all day. I think what I'm gonna do, so if I go onto customization, it goes to the right. That does the fenders. So let's try that. The Pagani, choose the front fenders. Oh my god, it's bringing the wheels out. I figured out the other glitch, like the MX-5, where it brings the wheels out. <laughs> this is brilliant. I figured out a glitch. You're welcome. People were talking about fitment not fitting properly on payback. You are welcome, friend. Look at that! That looks so cool! I wonder if this affects handling at all. If it could, like, make it more stable or something. That would actually be pretty cool. I don't know, it looks so weird because of the animations and just the wheel sticking out. We should be able to do this on Need for Speed to be completely fair. I still slip and slide everywhere. I look so stupid. <laughs> I love it! I imagine the reason as to why it did that is because we chose the X6. Like, the X6 is a very wide car. So it makes sense. How about we try to do that on... Oh, we'll try to do it on my, my other Skyline. I was wrong. It was the Raptor. It was the Raptor. And that is why. And that the wheels poke out a lot in that car. So because the right is the front fenders. Yeah, that's correct. So, boom, boom, boom. On front fenders. You see that there? It took even longer that time. Sometimes you might even be able to go all the way around the back and remove the back. So let's go on to drag. Go on my Skyline. Should be on fenders. Select. Oh, it's just going to remove... There we go. It's poking the wheels out. Hello. I'm liking it. If I equip that, can I put the, other, the Skyline fenders back on? Oh, it's going to keep the fenders removed. That's annoying. So it has to be a car that doesn't have fender options, maybe. Because the, the Pagani definitely didn't have fender options. I'm liking this. We're figuring out glitches together here today, boys. I like it. Unfortunately, quite a lot of cars have fenders. I don't think I've ever said that in my life. Please tell me the Koenigsegg doesn't. I don't think the Koenigsegg does. <gasps> it doesn't. Okay. This is going to be awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Front fenders. On it and Koenigsegg front fenders. Here we go. Oh, yes! <laughs> we made the Regera have pokey out wheels. I'm liking it. How, do, you, do you reckon we can get the, the, uh, the rear wheels to poke out a little bit as well? I'm going to give that a go. That might be a little bit more difficult. It might only work on a few occasions because we obviously have to whip all the way around to get this done. On visual mods, go to the right. Go to the right again. We uh, That's not too bad. Here we go. Riff, that's front fenders. Rear fenders! It took ages to do it that time. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. And go to the Regera. And rear fenders. Boom. We got poking out wheels. Yes! <laughs> ah! A quick thing to show is that if you go into the standard tuning and lower this thing, you can see it only moves a little bit. I think it's just because numbers are conflicting. It doesn't properly work. But it doesn't lower that much anymore. And it changes... The, like the camera is just insane on this now. I don't know what to think about it. Part of me loves it. Part of me can't stand the damn thing. But it looks so stupid. If I could just make like, like a bright pink car with wheels like this, it would look so freaking cool. I cannot wait to try this on other cars as well. I think the 918 would be awesome with the pokey out wheels. But again, again, it has the fenders. That's the only thing. We need to look at cars that don't have fender customization options. That's the only issue we're going to have running into that. I mean, some cars, it may not be much of an issue. If you don't care about the Fender, you can just remove it all out completely. But I can't really think too many cars other than hyper cars that have the Fender remove option. But it's still something to give a go. I really, really like this glitch. This is just the beginning because we know for a fact there's going to be more things that you can do with this. Removing parts that you don't want. Wing mirrors, for example. Messing about with the cars so much so that we're going to find some insane cars. I can't wait to try with the Bet Customs and the other little hot rod. I just read a go-kart last game and it looked so fun. Probably if you tried the X6 or something different, the fitment would be different depending on... Oh my Christ! <laughs> I love it! I should raise this thing as well, otherwise it's gonna blow a bit weird. Let's put stability control. Wait, that was stability control off? 
Is it more stable now, or is it just me? So I'm totally honest, this thing needs more stability. It is the most unstable bloody car I've ever driven in my bloody life. This looks so weird. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's on like the Cars film or something. But there you have it. Hopefully this doesn't have any performance balance on anything or doesn't actually change how the game plays. It doesn't seem like it. Stability control is on, but it seems like it just drifted there. Well, there we go. The glitches are starting to happen in Need for Speed Payback. Hopefully, this doesn't get patched because there's so much cool stuff we can do with this. If you do this glitch yourself, make sure to tweet me some of your pictures. I would love to see them. Twitter link down below. I'll give you some retweets and all that jazz. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Till next time, guys. Peace.